What's up legends and welcome back to the channel. Today we're out on the Monster 950 from Ducati. Um, this is going to be a really, really fun ride. Um, I've been looking forward to riding a Monster for a little while now and uh, finally getting, a hide, getting my hands on one. <laughs> very, very cool. Stick around, it's going to be good. Yo! <laughs> Very cool. So we've got uh, allegedly self-cancelling cancelling indicators, which yeah, not so much. <laughs> Brembo brakes though, um, which are great, and a little quick shifter, which doesn't seem too bad at all. And this great little burbly motor, which is fun. Really nimble, like. Just this thing chucks. Good little quick shifter. These mirrors are terrible. <laughs> uh, but what a hoot. Yeah, quick shifter's not that great. It's not as good as what the one was on the hyper. She's got some good little pickup though. Um, yeah, no, so look, with the, with the Monster lineup, um, this is the first Monster that I've ridden, I mean, I've ridden the 1200, you know, uh, and the 69, I think it was 697 or 699, something like that, from memory, um, but this is the first one that I've ridden where I've actually felt, that's actually felt really comfortable. Um, good seat height, I think we're about 31 and a half inches in seat height, um, and you can go lower or higher again. Um, but uh, yeah, just, it's flickable. Very comfortable, you know, very nice, very, it, look, this will be a great all-rounder for someone, I reckon. Um, if you just want something you can do absolutely everything on, then, um, you know, I mean, this will be great for around town. I can imagine the twisties as well. This will be super fun. <laughs> oh, very good. It's got a good little burble about it as well, which I quite like. There you go. <laughs> and Brembo brakes to pull you up, which are great. Yeah, really good. When it opens up, that mode is divine. Really, really nice. Just got a lovely verbal. Just gonna pull it up here. Let's have a walk around. The monster. Very, very cool. Great looking machine. Um, so the changes, the biggest changes for this bike, I suppose, really um, come down to obviously the trellis frame's gone, um, which is a bit of a shame. Look, I mean. You know, I'm neither here nor there on that on that trellis frame. But from what I just I've just been riding just now, it's like this new chassis is very very good. It doesn't have the same flex as what you would in a trellis frame, but um, I mean it would have been nice to have sort of seen a bit of a trellis coming up here, perhaps like the hyper type sort of thing. That one, one might have been good, but um, yeah, good looking bike all around. So the you got the 11 degree. I mean, look, this motor is. It's it's a, a fantastic motor. I mean the the classic round uh, monster headlight uh, is changed to a bit more of a an, an oval, which I don't mind actually. I actually think it's quite cool. Um, I don't know about this. I think this is a bit of a waste of time <laughs> myself. But uh, all round, I mean you still get that fat ass that Ducati um, does on the monster, you know, which is good. Classic classic sort of monster monster styling. Um, I reckon this would be an absolute cracking bike to, to own. There's a few little things. I mean, this is the same same sort of stuff as what, um, you know, just the exposed wires, this kind of stuff. That, that It's the kind of thing that picked up on the Hyper. That was the stuff that really pissed me off about the Hyper, was this kind of thing, um, which ends up causing problems, you know. And in here, same thing, you know. Just It's just little little bits of detail. I mean, you know, Ducati do a great bike. They make a great branded bike. A really, really nice. I mean, like these, these um, indicators, let me just put some on and I'll show you. They sort of fade away in that direction, which is kind of cool. I don't mind that at all. 
um, you know, a little bit of LED action. Um, they are supposed to be self-cancelling, not so much. <laughs> um, so, yeah, you've got uh, in the modes, let's see what we got here. So we've got, um, yeah, you've got ABS, traction control, wheelie control, um, quick shifty, you've obviously got on as well. You've got sport, touring, and urban, um, which is great. So we're in sport at the moment. Um, we'll just sort of leave that there. It's also got launch control, um, which, <laughs> you know, I mean, they're just trying to pack as much stuff into on this bike as possible, you know, um, with the launch control and sort of stuff. But anyway, look, I think that's a bit of fun um, for, uh, for a Ducati to have. Um, yeah, so there we go. The Ducati Monster. Yeah, so as you can see, I'm flat footed here. Um, so that's the seat height is just perfect for me. Um, and so it makes this bike very very accessible for a lot of people um, I suppose if you're on the taller side there is three different seats that you can get for this bike um, and even if you're shorter um, there's a lowering kit a suspension lowering kit as well that you can get so uh, they've really tried to make this as accessible for a lot of people as possible um, but it's an absolute ripper Oh, look, we've got mini twisties. <laughs> These are great. <laughs> there you go. How good's that? Get some little twisties in. So, interesting with this, so I just noticed just then the rear shock just kind of bottoming out a little bit. Um, the it's, the forks aren't aren't adjustable on this bike. Obviously, the rear one is adjustable, um, but the forks aren't adjustable here, um, which I think is a little weird. Um, but uh, yeah, so I, I mean, I think that's a bit of an oversight. I, I think that you know, I mean, they they're very good. It feels good, but I just think with those types of things, if you can't even adjust the suspension. I think that adjusting the suspension is a, a, a really big part of motorcycling. Um, I mean, I know that this bike is probably not, it's probably not a, um, a pitched at, you know, first time bike riders. Um, you know, this is probably more the sort of second time, uh, second purchase type sort of motorcycle um, for a lot of people, um, just because of, you know, engine capacity. Um, but not to be able to have the forks adjustable, a um, bit of an oversight. Um, I mean, you've got Brembo brakes, which are fantastic. They pull you up on a dime, um, front and back. Um, they've, they've been really, really good. Yeah, you really, I think with this quick shifter, you've just got to match the, match the revs. Um, it's kind of a little bit like a more like a slipper clutch. Um, yeah, that's exactly what it says. So, so if you match the revs on it, you don't want to close the throttle all together, um, and uh, and that'll uh, give you proper performance out of that. Hear that little wind? I don't know if you guys can hear it or not, but there's a little bit of a wind. <laughs> it almost sounds like a distant, um, a distant uh, like police or fire siren. <laughs> uh, crazy. Yeah, so there you go. When you get up to, when you get it up, then you can start to get that bop for uh, through the exhaust. That's really cool. Very, very cool. A great bike. The monster from Ducati. What an absolute ripper. See, you get that mob, which is great. <laughs> oh, I'll tell you what, I do love the Ducati. <laughs> A lot of fun. <laughs> oh, well, that's that. Um, so the Ducati Monster from uh, from Ducati, obviously. Um, there's this version, and then there's a plus version. But um, what a ripper! I've really enjoyed my time on this. I think uh, anyone who is looking for for a, a, a little monster, um, yeah, I reckon you would have an absolute blast on this bike. Um, the monster's a great machine, it really is. 
handles really well, tips in really well, you know, I think it does everything uh, that it sort of says on the packet. But that's us for today, so thanks so much for watching, glad you guys are, uh, are back, and apologies we've been a bit quiet, but the weather hasn't been very kind to us in the last couple of weeks, and uh, yeah, so here we are back riding, self-cancelling indicators, not so much self-cancelling, <laughs> and I'll uh, see you guys in the next one. Woo!